All right, let's have a quick talk about the equation of a line. We all know by now, and if you don't, you need to do, go and do this first, but we all know by now that the equation of a line comes in the form y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient of the line, and c is your y-intercept, um, or where the line cuts the y-axis. So I've got some axes here. That's my x. This is my y over here. So let's just say I was to plot myself a line. So I'm going to get my line going. Let's say I was to plot myself a line. That's my line. Then a couple of things to note straight away and that is right where the line cuts the y-axis, whatever number that is, that's my c. That's called my y-intercept. And then we should know by now, if we don't know, then we need to make sure we do know this, how to find the gradient of that line. So it is the difference in y divided by the difference in x. Okay, I'm not going to go through that. You should know how to do this by now. If you're watching this video, you should know how to do this. So anyway, what I want to do have a, um, is just to have a quick look at if you're already given the equation of a line, this, this has already been given, this is already in the form y equals to mx plus c because that's my y, that's my x, this is my m here and this is my c there. And so you might be asked what's the gradient and what's the y-intercept? Well I can just read it off the, gra uh, off the line. So my gradient is equal to 5 and my y-intercept is equal to 2. So that's easy to do. We can just basically see it there and we're done. All right, let's look at the different situation. What if then it looks like this? This is not in the form y equals to mx plus c. So before we're able to find the gradient and the y-intercept, we need to make it look like this. Well, let's get to work. What we need to do is use subject of the formula to change it around. Um, so I can see that this here can go over there. So I'm going to keep my 5 and then my plus y is equal to, well, this is a, um, this here is a negative 2. So when we bring it over here, it will change the sign to become a positive or doing the inverse operation. So that becomes a plus 2x there. Then now I'm going to move this 5, bring that over there as well. So um, at the moment it's a plus 5. So once it goes over it becomes a negative. So therefore y is equal to 2x minus 5. Well now it looks like that. And now that it looks like that, it's really easy for me to see that my gradient, or my m, is going to be equal to 2. And my y-intercept, which is c, is going to be minus 5 there. Alright, let's have another quick look. Here's another one. This one is slightly more difficult. Um, so we'll have a quick look again. So, yet again, my equation needs to be y equal to mx plus c so that I can find my gradient, which is m, and I can find my y-intercept, which is c. So here we go. Let's do this quickly. So first of all, I'm going to move the 2x over to... Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this minus 3y over to that side. I've got my reason for that. Um, so um, that's because I just want that to be positive. So here we go. So I'm going to keep the 2x minus 3 here, move um, this minus 3y over to the other side, and so that's going to give me a positive 3y there. It still doesn't look like this just yet, 
So what I'm going to do, I need to get rid of this 3. And this 3 is multiplying by y, so I need to divide by 3. So if I divide everything by 3, I'm going to have 2x divided by 3, minus 3 divided by 3, and that equals to y is left on its own. Now, we'll do a quick simplifying here. So 2 over 3 times x is the same thing. This um, 3 divided by 3 is going to be equal to 1, and that equals to y. Now, it looks like this. Because here is my M, here is my C. Even though it's a bit backward, it's still the same thing. So therefore, my gradient is equal to 2 thirds. And my Y intercept, which is C, is equal to minus 1. Alright, hope that was pretty much enjoyable. I hope that you got a very clear idea as to how to change an equation around to make it look the way you want it to look. Um, use this when you've got to answer questions like this.